Our neighborhood woke to the sounds of flashbangs and smoke bombs this morning. Sheriff's deputies woke up or uh, showed up to arrest a man, but he refused to give up. News Channel 3 reporter Joe Butita found out investigators have been looking for this guy for a while. 35-year-old Travis Rosenblatt taken away in handcuffs by Santa Barbara County Sheriff's deputies after being held up inside a home on Las Positas Place. Authorities showed up early Thursday morning with arrest and search warrants, but Rosenblatt wasn't interested in making it easy. The standoff went on for several hours. Deputies had to use some different distraction devices like smoke grenades to be able to get the suspect out of the home. He finally did come out, but not after a wild night for this quiet neighborhood just off of Las Positas. I first heard people jumping over the back part of our fence, which was the SWAT team, and then about an hour passed and the first flashbang went off around 5.30, I'd say. You know, we just heard uh, smoke bombs um, that they threw in there, and I guess they, it all ended this morning around 7.00. Letting this guy know they're bringing in dogs, they're going to breach the door. I mean, it was pretty, it was pretty uh, like clear what was about to happen. So the police did a great job. Two other people living inside that home, they were evacuated when deputies arrived. This woman is the owner. When I went up and knocked on the door, she didn't have much to say. No, I'm not in a position to talk right now with conditions. So I'm still trying to, trying to wrap my head around this whole thing. Authorities have been looking for Rosenblatt for some time. He's suspected of robbing a mobile gas station on Las Positas back in February of 2013. New DNA evidence from that crime led deputies to the home and the eventual arrest of an armed robbery suspect. He actually slashed the clerk's tires and then used that to cut the electrical cord to the uh, cash register and then picked up the cash register, smashed it, took the money and ran off. After more than a year on the run, Travis Rosenblatt is behind bars, a place he's been before. And it's all thanks to DNA evidence and detectives that just wouldn't give up. In Santa Barbara, Joe Butita, News Channel 3.